Hi and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to create this slightly alternative timeline or Gantt chart in Word which just gives you a little bit more flexibility. You can move these boxes around very easily and also how to put in this text at the bottom to include more information. So let's open a new document. And the first thing we need to do is change the orientation of my page from portrait to landscape. So we'll go to the layout option at the top, go to orientation and select landscape. Now with the cursor being at the top here, I'm just going to press the return button just so that we create a little bit of space before we put in our table. Then go to insert table, click on the drop down and I'm going to select five columns and eight rows. And then all I'm going to do at the bottom here is go to table layout and insert below. Just click three times to add 11 rows. Then we're going to go to the top here and click on this top left square so that we can highlight the whole table. Then go up to height at the top here and then I'm going to put one centimeter in and press enter and we've just given ourselves a little bit more space in those rows. So now simply to insert your text. We'll keep all the lines in for now because it'll help to show you how we'll do this process and then we'll come back and take out all the lines and only insert the ones that we want. So I'm just going to insert my text. So just to customize this text, I'm going to go to the home tab, click on this icon here, select uppercase. I'm going to change the font to this one here. I'm going to make it bold. And then up here, I'm going to change the font size to 14. Then I'm going to go over to here and center text. Now I'm going to blend together or merge together these two cells here. So in order to do that, select them, go to table layout and go to merge cells. We're going to do that with these two as well. Carry on going down to the bottom. And the reason we do that is because it will give us this line in the middle of our text here. So if we select all of these rows, in fact, let's put the text in first. So once again, to customize this text, I'm just going to select it all. Just click and drag across all the text. Go to the Home tab. I'm going to go here to 14. I'm going to change the font to this one again. Press Bold. And then if we go to Table Layout, here you can place the text anywhere in your cell. So I'm going to select this one here is Align to Center Left. And now you can see my text will line up with this center line here. So we need to do a little bit more merging. So select these cells here, go to merge. And again, these cells here and select merge. So now you can see for this element here, we've got our text and then we will have a bold line in the middle here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that for the rest of the table. Okay, so now we've got that in place, we can start to take out our lines and only put in the lines that we want. So select the table, top left square, go to table design, and over here you can format your border lines. So the first thing I'm going to do is select no borders, that will take out all the borders. But I'm also going to go down and select view grid lines, just so that we can see all of our grid lines. Then on this icon here, I'm just going to select a thicker line at two and a quarter points. And then you can see my line here. You can select any you like. Again, up here, you can select different border lines. And of course, you can change the color of those lines if you decide to do so. Go to Border Painter and then just click. And then here, it normally will show a little paintbrush, but for some reason today, it doesn't want to. Just click on the lines and you can see it will place a line where you've clicked. Then again, this line here that runs to the middle of the text. And this one. Perfect. So let's go up to borders and let's turn off the grid lines. And you can see now how our grid is looking. So now to the text in the boxes, go to insert text box, click on the drop down and select draw text box, click and draw out the text box. And let's just move that down. There we go. Now with a text box, if I deselect it, it's got this nice border around the outside, but it's a little bit thin. 
So select the text box, go up to shape format, and go along to this icon here, which is outline. Click on the drop down, go down to weight, and you can match your table line here, two and a quarter points. Deselect it, and you can see that's now matched. Now, if you feel that it's a bit too thick and the lines on the table aren't matching, then you can always go back and change it. Go down to weight, one and a half, and there, that I feel is a little bit more suitable. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this text box, just reduce the size, and I'm going to copy and paste this text box so that I can use them on all the other ones. Now I've customized this one. Now for me, the easiest way to do that is to select it, hold down your Alt or Option key, click and drag. You can use the copy and paste up on the Home tab. Copy, deselect, paste. So it's completely your choice, but I just find it's easier to use the Alt or Option key on your keyboard. So now we've done that, what I'm going to do is going to grab some text and then I'm just going to paste it into this box. I'm sure you don't want to see me type. So I'm going to select the text and then you can reduce or increase the size of your text depending on how much text you've got in your box. And also you can change the font as well if you want to. If I was to change this to this font, it tends to be a bit more condensed. So you can actually get more text in. So you can see how that affected my text. Let's just put a full stop at the end there. And then reduce the size of this box. Now you can see as I pull down, it clicks into place. Now, if it doesn't click exactly where you want it, what you can do is as you're moving it, hold down that option or alt key and you can see how that action is smoothed out and you can be quite precise about where you put that final line. Again, the same with actually putting this in place. You can see it's quite clunky as I move it around the page, but hold down that alt or option key and it will smooth out that action and you can put it exactly where you want it. And you're aiming to match these little squares with the line that will center it to that line. Okay, so what I'm going to do is speed up the video and insert all the text from these boxes and do exactly the same, just realign the text box and make sure it's the correct size. Now, just a quick tip, you can select all of the boxes Go to the Home tab, you can change all of the fonts at the same time and the font sizes as well. Perfect, so once all of that is in place, we can put in a title. Again, the same thing, insert, text box, draw text box, click and draw out a text box, then just insert your text. Select the text, go to the Home tab, and then we can just once again change it. Now you can see we've got this surrounding outline as well. So we're going to select it, go to shape format, go to outline, take off the outline and then back to the home tab and make sure we've sent that text within the box so that then we can go back up to shape format. If sh shape format isn't there, it's because you haven't selected it. And then go to align, align to center, which will mean that is perfectly centered in your page. Now let's move this table down just a little bit just to give us a little bit more space. Select this, we can use our arrow key to move it since we've now centered it. And then we can borrow this text box, click and drag it to the bottom here. So we can just grab some text, select it all, Command or Control A. I'm just gonna paste in some text that I used before. You've seen how I customize text and then you can just move this box around just to suit your text. And then once again, we're just going to simply copy and paste these boxes. And then what you can do is you can just simply select inside the text and change that text to suit you. So let's select the first title. So once you've got all your text in, you need to decide how far to the edge of the page or not you want this final box here. I'm going to try and line it up with the edge of this text box. Likewise with this one, I need to decide where exactly I want to place this one. So again, I'm going to line it up with the edge of that text above. Once I've done that, select it all. So hold down your command or control key, select all of these boxes, go to align, 
select distribute horizontally giving an equal space between all the boxes then align and then you can use any of these and I'm going to select align to top and there you have them perfectly lined up at the bottom if you don't feel you've got enough space at the bottom you can make these boxes wider or smaller and you can also adjust your title you can make it a bit smaller and you can shift the table up by putting your cursor at the top here pressing the return key and moving that up and then you can go ahead and select all of these at the bottom just use your arrow key to move them down so once you're happy with this you can export it as a PDF or a Word document but if you really can't be bothered to put the work in to do this I will put a link in the description below where you can download it so I hope that's helped you today if it has, please like and subscribe and have a great day.